Hi everyone, I am Fedragon and in this short video I will show you how to create logical drive on your HP ProLine DL360 G4. To do this you should run something called Option ROM Configuration for Air Ice Utility and you can do this by hitting F8 when prompted while the server is booting. We won't hit F8 on the first prompt and it is happening right now. Instead, we should wait for prompt with text option ROM configuration for array utility. So, you should be ready to hit the fate on the next prompt. And it should happen very soon. So click right now. As you can see, I've entered the utility and here are just few options for me. We can choose to create, view or delete logical drive. Of course, you should be aware that all the data you may have will be lost after this procedure. Here, I'll first delete my current logical drive. Honestly, I don't know if it's necessary, but I'll do it anyway. So, I'll choose Delete Logical Drive option and hit Enter. And here is the list with my logical drives. As you can see, I have just one drive and it's already selected. So, to delete it, I just need to hit F8. So, I'll do. Here is warning, states that uh, this will result in complete data loss for this logical drive, but we already know that. And to confirm my intention, I'll press F3. It'll take just a few moments for drive to be deleted, and when it's done, we got message that configuration is saved, and we should press Enter to continue. We are on the main page again, but now I want to create logical drive and I'll choose first option and hit enter. I am not a RAID expert and I don't know much about RAID levels, parities and stuff like that, but I know what is RAID 0 and RAID 1. When data is written to RAID 0 volume, the data is broken into fragments called blocks and the blocks are written to their respective drives simultaneously. This way we get improved performance and additional storage comparing to RAID 1, but no fault tolerance, meaning we lost all the data if just one drive fails. On the other hand, in RAID 1, also known as mirroring, data is written identically to two drives and the array continue to operate as long as at least one drive is functioning, so your data would be safer, but you'll get half the storage and worse performance. At this moment, I won't worry too much about drive failures, so I'll first press Tab key to move to right configuration sections and I'll select right O by using down arrow key and then I press Enter to create logical drive. Here I'll press F8 to save the configuration and again it'll take just few moments for drive to be created and after that I'll press Enter to continue. We are on the main page again and we've finished creating logical drive, so I'll press escape to exit the utility. And this is all for this video. I hope that you found this information useful for you and if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Bye!